back, guys, to our 2020 lawn care setup. mower to our lawn care setup it's a 2015 walker t25i uh, it has a 48 inch deck on it has 1782 hours on it uh has the collection unit it needs some new tires we really like this this is gonna be our main mower going into the season no. all right guys this is our 2018 skag v ride 2 we've had this mower since last season it was in the setup last year as well it has 99.7 hours on it it's about to hit 100 hours and over here we have the jumbo accelerator bagger. We use this for our properties that we have to collect grass on, which is pretty much all of our properties. So now we're gonna go into the next walker. All right guys, this is our 2006 walker mower. It's the MTGHS model, has a 48 inch deck, has 2300 hours on it. It has the collection unit back here. Um, we're also looking to sell this mower, so if you're interested, uh, DM us or like, put a comment down. Uh, yeah. All right, so these are our push mowers. We have a six and a half horsepower Craftsman push mower, and we have a Toro one right here. These are both given to us by customers. We only use them every now and then. We don't really push mow any of our properties anymore due to us having walkers. Mm. To start out, we have our three tier trimmer racks from Green Touch Industries. These things are great. We got these last year and put them on our new trailer. And on top here, we have our KM131R with the edger attachment. We also have the bush trimming attachment in the garage. The next unit we have on here is the FS91R. This is our main weed eater. It has the Incredible bottle on it and some string wrapped around it. Uh, and the next unit. So then the next unit is a KM55R. Uh, we have a weed eater attachment on it and also have an Incredible bottle. So then we go to the spool. So the spool racks from Green Touch, uh, we have a little spool in here from Steel of just their weed eater line. And all of these trimmers have the Echo Speed Feed head on them. So right here we have our backpack sprayer. It's a Steel SG20. Um, we only spray like our yard and our neighbor's yard, but we usually put Roundup in this. So we bought this last year just to kind of use around our house. Uh, this is the HS56 with the uh, two foot trimmer on it. Uh, we bought this last year for a head trimming job that we had and it painted off in one job. So yeah. All right, this is the BR600 Magnum. Uh, it was my dad's. He bought it for us. And this is the version three uh, green touch rack. All right, so right here, we have our BR800C. We just picked this up a week and a half ago. Um, it's also in the green touch V3 or blower rack. All right, so this is our trailer. It's a six and a half by 16 foot long dual axle trailer. We found it on Facebook Marketplace. We got this about mid-season last year, um, but this is in the lawn care setup this year. We used it a lot last year. So yeah, now onto the truck. All right guys, this is our dad's truck. He bought this right before we went to GIE last year. It's a 2008 Ford F-250. It has a 6.4 diesel engine in it. Uh, this is our workhorse right now. Uh, we need to get a toolbox for it, but other than that, this is basically the perfect truck for what we do. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for our 2020 lawn care setup. We know it was short, but we're going to be trying to do an individu individual product reviews throughout the season. So make sure you stay tuned for those. Also, make sure you go follow us on the Instagram at southernstrides underscore 2019 for any updates and polls on what we should post. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're trying to get 300 subscribers by mid-season. So, yeah, let's get to that and see you in the next video. Peace.